All right, episode 15, Inside of Ties, part five of going from buyer to boss. Now, it's one of the most complex things that you can actually do is to go from being just a consumer to actually being the owner of a company. And when you become somebody that's attempting to start a business, you run into all types of issues and problems. And it, it's about being persistent. You have to kind of fight through all of the ups and downs to actually own a business. But the biggest thing that you can do is to align yourself with a mentor if you're going to start a business. Now, um, part five, episode 15, Inside of Ties, Buyer to Boss. Part five is create your own line. Now, remember, when I'm talking about these things in regard to sneakers, that it's not just sneakers that I'm talking about. If it's a person that is um, that likes buying a lot of different type of t-shirts, then I'm talking about starting an apparel company for you guys that are doing something different. If it's someone that likes to cook, I'm talking about potentially going out and starting buying a food truck or starting a restaurant. You know what I mean? So it, it's not an easy process. So if you're a person that's like, okay, I'm going to start my own shoe company. The first thing you need to realize is that people are such hardcore loyal fans of particular brands that starting a footwear company is the most, I think probably the most complicated thing that you could ever do. The idea that I was able to do it and start a footwear company and I've done it twice is it's a testament to one, me being dumb enough to try it. And then two, um, willing to take on a loss in order to pursue a dream. But you have to know when to let something go as well. So I founded ARC in 2009. So let's look at a few things that I did to basically help myself. Now, um, the first thing you do, if you're starting a shoe company, you're going to have to get samples made, right? So let's scroll down here on the website. And what I want to do is show you the process of how a shoe goes into production, right? And you can go to the website anywhere on ARC. Look at the choose a category and you can click on ARC Info or ARC Footwear and it will show you these different articles that I've written. So like this one is an update for getting closer and it shows you how the toe box of the shoe and the tongue has been attached and then there are other pictures that shows you how many different pieces there are in the shoe. Now this is before the shoe goes onto a last and they attach it to an outsole. It's just a lot of different things that go into it. But none of these things, you can sit here and make all of the shoes you want, right? But you have to sell the shoes. So how do you sell the shoes in a market where you can't compete as far as marketing? You can't compete with any of the big brands. You can't compete. How do you go about selling shoes? Um, one, first, people, first thing people are going to say is like social media. Social media has not been that great of a help to me. So let's look at my Facebook page so you can go to Facebook and go to my art page and obviously there's a picture of Trump there. I'm hoping that goes away quick. Anyway, um, and you'll recognize right off the bat that I have 1,129 likes. Uh, when I post something, the most people that get reached on that post, 14 people. So how is it that social media helps me? I would have to pay for ads on social media for social media to actually help support anything that I'm doing. And what I've done is on my website, if you go back in and you look at it, I do these reports, all right? And you can look at the reports and the reports will show you how uh, something sold or if something didn't sell or how did I do with a particular shoe. And let's say art report for 2015. And usually what I'll do is I'll talk about how much um, I got in sales for my shoe company. So my shoe company, Art Brand Sales, uh, on Square, I made $404 in 2015 from Square. All right. Now, Amazon, I made almost $2,000 from Amazon on sales, and that was on my jackets and the CG097 and the TR114. So th two different shoe styles and a jacket apparel. Um, I made the money from that. That was almost 2000 so we keep going down and I look at the list. Um, the amount of money that I deposited total on my business on ARC, which includes the ARC footwear brand and the ARC online shop was $400,000. So 
I did four hundred thousand dollars on the brand, and I did uh well the brand I only did twenty four hundred dollars on Arc, but on the online shop, the store itself, I did four hundred thousand dollars, and then my official statement from um, Amazon, I did three hundred and seventeen thousand dollars. Right now, this is deposit totals of four hundred thousand. That's wholesale. So total last year I did seven hundred and eighteen thousand dollars and seventy four seventy four seven hundred eighteen thousand dollars, but that's not what I netted. Now if someone says, "Hey, well, what did you net? How much did you make?" I'll tell you or I'll talk about it, but I really don't want to disclose that. But it wasn't much, all right. And that's because when you take on the process of starting a business, when you run into the tough times, you can find yourself financially unable to fund your business. Now, this is the killer part. I had to take out loans. And those loans that I took out, they were really, really bad loans. All right. So you need to ask me about these things and ask me about what type of loans or how did I end up funding? I've never had an investor. I've never had anybody come in and say, hey, Chris, here's this money. Make this stuff. The amazing thing is what I've learned over the last four to five, well, seven years, 10 years total of running my own shoe company is that if you don't have capital, everything is hard. So that's why I spend a lot of time on YouTube talking about starting a business without money or starting a business from zero, because that's basically what I did. But what I've learned over this time period is if you are going to start a business, you have to have some way to sell your items. One of the things that I did to sell the items right here, You'll see the campaign manager. I actually have my Amazon shop where I sell the Nikes and Adidas and all of that other stuff where I carry my own shoe and I ran an ad campaign. So you'll see where it says that I did $2,400 on my own shoe company. $1,200 of that came from Amazon. All right. And it came from the fact that I ran an ad and that ad cost me $407. But the killer part about this is the amount of impressions that I had on that ad. It's comparable to anything that any of the big boys could have done. Now, my average cost for acquiring a customer is not very good. It's 33%. But if you look at the amount of impressions, four, almost 4 million impressions utilizing this ad campaign that I did with the targeting the way I set it up. So creating your own brand is a it's it's something that you have to look into but what you're going to have to do especially you younger dudes that are sneakerheads and you love the game you love sneakers you gotta stop dissing all of these other brands and riding so hard for just one brand when you do that you're literally cutting off your own hand you're cutting it off because if you get to the point where you want to start something can you start it if you've been standing so hard for these other dudes you can't. You're going to basically hurt your own self, man. Start looking at other brands, being more open to it. So when you look at the ARC website now, what you'll see is a lot of different information. What I finally realized after running the websites for so long, and I knew this at the beginning, is that the biggest way I can reach people is through content. And that is the most important thing that I can tell you guys. If you are starting a business and you actually have a product that you think you're going to sell to people, you can create it and make it all you want, but if you are not in the business of marketing and creating information for people to consume, you're not going to have a lot of people going to your website. All right, and that's going to make it more difficult for you to sell. This is a, you know, this is a tough one to get into, but creating your own label is something that you want to look into and try. And if you have questions, you got to ask because this is too broad of a subject for me to kind of cover in a short amount of time. But that's all I'm going into right now. Hopefully that kind of sparked your interest in thinking about starting your own brand. And I hope you guys are going to sit down and start writing out business plans. If you need to write out a business plan, you can go to the CB Publish website, CBP, cbpublish.com. You can go to that website and I have a, a business, basically course, that's free that you can do. And it's online here on my YouTube station. This building a business from zero. I have a sample business plan. I got a sample monthly projection. I have a sample. I have a bunch of different sample things in there that you can download and you can start looking at it and filling out for yourself. I wish you guys luck if you're thinking about doing it. I hope you pull it off, but you need to get started as soon as possible on something. Go from being a buyer to a boss. Episode 15, part five, part six next Tuesday. See you guys. Peace.